I know you were only in it for a brief bit. What was it like shooting 1917? What was that like? Uh, knowing that, obviously, um, you know, I, I'm sure that there were certain camera tricks, uh, unless it was one whole long scene that you had to get right. Uh, what was that like for you, Mark? It was it was a revelation. I have to say, it was very unlike the normal process of filming because I had two sequences in the film, and I shot those on two separate days, a month apart. And every sequence in the film was shot as a continuous sequence. Mm -hmm. So there are a number of edits in the film. Obviously, the whole thing couldn't be shot in one, but there are a number of edits. But the kind of trickery of modern cinema means it's virtually seamless. Um, but it meant that I turned up, we rehearsed my scene, we did it a few times, then we shot it a few times, and basically once we had it in the can, then that was it. There was no lens changing, there was no close-ups, there was no changing of camera angles or anything, it was just that one thing. And I remember kind of um, feeling like it was a much quicker process than <laughs> you normally have on a movie. Yeah. And I wondered whether it would work. But when I saw the film, I have to say, it, it blew me away. I just thought the immediacy of the feeling that it's one single shot gives you a real sense of what it might have been like to be there. It really was, Mark. Uh, uh, that, that, that film was, to me... Uh, I thought it was a uh, best picture. I, I really did. And, and, and it, it blew me totally away and um, left me wanting more, to be honest with you, which is crazy because it was so harrowing. I wanted to kind of put it aside, yeah. you know, and, and I just wanted to ask you about, because I'm such a, you know, an aficionado of the way films are made and it seemed to me so special. I was just wondering what it was like to act in it. Well, it was a little like doing a series of mini plays because obviously normally you have scenes in a normal film or television show that are, you know, a couple of pages long, whereas this would be five or six pages. So you'd be doing, you know, six, seven, eight minute sequences. And basically, if you come from the theater, which I did, and most of the actors in that film did, it, it really isn't. It isn't that difficult to play those as continuous scenes. What it did mean, however, if, for example, like in one of the scenes I did, there are a bunch of guys moving a tree in the background. If one of those guys That's fell right. over or dropped a rifle or, you know, perhaps the truck that we got into didn't start, then we had to start the whole sequence again from the beginning. And I remember Andrew Scott, who's a lovely actor, has a sequence where he has to, I think he has to open a letter, read a letter, and at the same time he has to light a cigarette. And he had to do something like 40 takes because the lighter, you know, he'd get to the point where he had to light the cigarette and it wouldn't, the lighter wouldn't work. So um, you had to have a lot of patience doing it. But once you got the scene shot, uh, yeah, it was like doing a series of mini plays. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.